So the question over here is a patient reported with a swelling in his lower jaw which was gradually increasing and painfully in and painful intermittently. Extra oral findings reveals a hard swelling 4 by 2 centimeters on the lower one third of the anterior mandible which was covered by a normal appearing skin. Intraoral examination revealed a mass hard in consistency involving the mandibular alveolar ridge with expansion of both the cortical plates. Non ulcerated centrally erythematous mucosa is seen. Which of the following shows filigree pattern? So, students, see in this entire question, there is no conclusive information that is present in the question except the last line filigree pattern. So, as soon as you see this question, you should remember that the answer is always going to be Ewing sarcoma. Because Ewing sarcoma is very characteristically known to show under the microscope a filigree pattern. So, a few important points about Ewing sarcoma is it is usually seen in younger age group people, 5 to 25 years of age. Second, it is uh, more common in blacks as sorry, males as compared to females. A very important feature about having sarcoma is the patient will have will report with a history of trauma. And in the area where you have the trauma, there will be uh, the tumor is known to occur. Okay. So if you go to see there having sarcoma, this sarcoma actually occurs in hard and soft tissue. The hard tissue component is called Ebbing sarcoma. Whereas the soft tissue counterpart is called PNET. That is primitive neuroectodermal tumor. Okay. So both of them are the same pathology but one occurs in the soft, soft tissue whereas the other occurs in the hard tissue. So under the microscope, you will see that the cells of having sarcoma are round. That this is exactly how they have been described. Round cells with hyperchromatic nuclei 4 is to 1. That is, there is a reversal of N by C ratio. The nucleus occupies about 2 thirds to the complete cell. Okay. They are arranged in, the, in this pattern only and this pattern in addition as you go in the next image I will in the next slide I will show you the image. So they are arranged in a particular characteristic pattern which is pathognomic of this condition. Okay. So if you see over here these are the cells and you can see how they are hyperchromatic as well as you can hardly see any cytoplasm within the cell. They are the cytoplasm is clear. And these cells are glycogen positive, whereas they are diastase negative. And if you see the resemblance, this is what is called as the filigree pattern. And this filigree pattern is what is being described for the histopathological picture of having sarcoma.